I am so excited. I just finished writing the draft of my third book. Finally, (laughs) finally, finally. One month delayed, but it is done. And today I'm going to share with you five things I learned in the process of writing this book. Things that will help you to reach your goals more easily. Thank you so much for joining me today. My name is Patricia Brooks. I am an American expat living in the South of France. I am the author of two published books, soon to be three, and I am the creator of the Carefree Expat Incubator Program. I help people who are ready to start the next chapters of their lives living in a foreign country, and I share content on this channel about living in France, moving abroad, and finding the confidence and courage to live life on your terms. So if that sounds of interest, be sure to subscribe. This is going to be a a walk along video. So I'm going to share some of the sites around town. So enjoy the scenery. Now, the first thing I learned has to do with Parkinson's law. And Parkinson's law says that work expands to fill the allowed time. Now, I set a goal of finishing this book by December 31st, 2023. And I set this goal in January of 2023. I was reminded that I've been working on this book for three years. This memory that popped up in Facebook where I reposted my book launch party for my first book and where I said, oh, this is wonderful that it's been four years since I wrote my first book. Now all I need to do is put my head down and write the third. Three years Now, what was the difference in 2023? What made me get the book done? Well, I set a date. I set a deadline. I didn't say that I had an indefinite amount of time to get it done. And this is something I stress with the women in my program is that they need to set a date as to when they're going to make a move abroad because otherwise the work is going to expand to fill the allowed time. And if there's no deadline, you have forever, right? According to what your brain thinks. So set a date, um, work toward that date and get it done. The second thing that I learned has to do with Parkinson's law too. And that is that work expands to fill the allowed time. And so if you give yourself too much time or more than enough time, then you're going to put off doing the work until you know you have to get started. It didn't take me a whole year to write this book. It took me four months to write this book. In the summertime, I started writing again, you know, more seriously about on this book. But it wasn't until October that I got my focus, that I knew where I was headed with the writing, and that I was very consistent with my writing. So October, November, December, and January, four months, not an entire year. So If you have a goal and you want to get that goal done sooner rather than later, make sure that you aren't giving yourself too much time, that there's not too much fluff in your timeline because you're just putting off getting something done, something that will probably feel really satisfying. Number three is that expectations slow down your progress. Now, for my first book, it took me three months to write. I got the idea at the end of May and I started writing in earnest in June. And by the end of August, I was working with an editor to get it ready for publication. Now, it's a little bit like beginner's luck. You know, you don't know what you don't know. And so I just wrote and I worked it out on the back end with my editor to to clean it up and and give it the structure it needed and all of that, but the book got done. Having had that experience and the experience writing my second book as well, I was a little bit paralyzed in writing the third one. I thought, oh, okay, now I know, you know, I need to have a certain structure and I I just knew too much. I didn't have that beginner's mind and that slowed me. In addition, when I wrote my first book, I didn't have a platform. I wasn't on YouTube. So I didn't have people who had read a first book or a second book of mine. So there wasn't that expectation that, oh, I really want to make this good because I know that somebody's going to be reading it. And so that kind of got in my head as well. 
Now, one of the things I think could have helped me, and perhaps I'll join this for my fourth book. I don't have one in the process. I don't have any ideas yet, but when I do, maybe I will join a group that will help me to stay grounded where I can get out of my head and speak through, talk through these ideas that I have about expectations or whatever is creating the writer's block so that it doesn't have to take me another three years to get out my fourth book. And I've seen the value of, you know, working with groups because the Carefree Expat Incubator Program is a group program that helps single women who are ready to start the next chapter of their lives living in a foreign country. And I see the value that they gain by sharing what concerns they have, getting them out on the table, being coached through them so that they aren't hung up on them and they can continue making progress so that they can get to their dream country as soon as possible. They're ready right now. So I've seen the value in that. And I think that that is definitely something I will do for book number four. The fourth thing I learned in writing this third book is that I think that making the public commitment made a difference to me, right? I didn't want to not honor my word. My word is my bond. And so while I fell a little bit short of that, I did get it done. And I got it done in a short time after the deadline had passed. But that too was because, oh, I said I was going to do it. I said it publicly. So if you've got a friend, a safe friend that you can share your goal or your aspiration with and set the date and maybe even ask if they can help be an accountability partner for you in reaching that goal, that is something that can be very helpful as well. Or if you feel comfortable and you've got a YouTube channel, put it out on YouTube (laughs) because it worked for me. And the fifth thing I learned in writing this third book is, ah, it feels so good to finish, right? Now, I've got a long way to go on this book. It's just the first draft. I'm sending it out to my first reader at the end of this week. And I know there'll be some edits and some changes in the whole process. And if I go the self-publishing route, there's, there's that as well. So I know there are miles to go before I sleep, but boy, when I was putting the chapters together in one document and when I went to the print shop to print out the manuscript so I could go through it on paper and when I was holding it in my hand, that felt amazing. So I share this with you to say, set a date, set a date that doesn't have too much fluff in it. Share this date with a friend and ask if they could help hold you accountable so that you reach that date. If you're feeling a little bit intimidated, find a group or a program that could help you so that you don't get hung up on that and you can continue to make progress. And finally, Once you've gotten that thing done that you set out for, celebrate. Make sure you take time to celebrate so that you don't just go on to the next thing because you need to revel in how good that feels. You worked hard for it. So those are the five things that I have learned in writing this third book. Maybe you're watching this video because you are interested in writing a book. If that's the case, I... I highly recommend it. It is an experience that is like no other. Or maybe you're watching this video because you have a dream of living in a foreign country. And if that's the case, and if you're feeling a little bit stuck there, if you're feeling like you could use some help picking up the momentum and keeping it there, then I'd love to have a conversation with you to kind of see where it is that you are in your process. Where did you want to move to and why? And see if our working together could help you get to your dream country sooner and with more ease. So check out the link in the description and schedule some time with me so that we can have a complimentary discovery call and figure out if our working together could help you get there sooner and with more ease. So that is all I have for you today. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a like, share it with friends, subscribe, and check out these videos next. Take care. Bye for now.